Well, today's video is gonna be all about the Streamlight Stinger. This is the 2020 version. I know it's 2021, but this is the newest iteration of the Streamlight Stinger series. Now, this is a very nice little multi-function light that has a ton of different uses. If this is your first time here, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn those bell notification icons on, and if at any time you feel that I deserved it, feel free to give that video or this light a like, and definitely leave me a comment down below on your experience with stream lights. Now, like I said, this is a multi-role, multi-functional light with a ton of options built into it. Now, Streamlight did send this out to the channel to test out, and I have used it quite a bit, both in the house, around work, and all that stuff, and just doing my fun things, the hobbies, either fixing stuff around the house, working on my hot rods out in the garage, or whatever I just really need a backup light source for. So this thing is really going to be for those people out there, my mechanics that love working on those cars, the do-it-yourselfer around the house, a definitely an emergency light source, and of course, law enforcement, security, and all that good stuff as well, or even those in an office who need a rechargeable solid backup light for those power outages. If at any time you are interested in this thing, I will leave links down below for this and a bunch of other stuff. And you can always check out my website, tacticalconsiderations.com. And of course, check out Shall Not Comply for all that sweet freedom-minded swag, because they handle all that stuff for me because it's a lot of time to ship out patches and all those other goods. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take a very good up-close look at this thing, go over all the specs, the options in here to include the little brightness setting switch here, which is a little bit easier than having to click the button three, four, five times to figure out which brightness setting you want. I always mess that up. If you mess that up too, let me know in the comments down below. We'll go ahead and get into the specs in this thing, then we'll check out some of that low light footage, both inside the house and the garage. And then we'll go out in the yard and check out some really long distance to just show you how powerful this little thing is. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're gonna go ahead and get into this little bad boy right now. All right, let's go ahead and knock out the basic specs here on this Streamlight Stinger 2020 right here. Just a good feeling flashlight in the hand. Let's talk about the light. So max setting here all the way over on high right there is gonna give you 2000 lumens and that is going to run for two hours. The medium setting here on that switch is gonna give you 850 lumens for four hours, and then low will give you 100 lumens at 24 hours, which is pretty outstanding. It does have the 10 tap strobe mode, so if you wanna have strobe for signaling or something like that, that will run constant for three and a quarter hours. So as far as the LED diode lens and everything in there, that is a Borofloat lens, which has extreme pass-through qualities for the actual light, and then it's going to be extremely durable as well. Uh, there are a couple of ways to charge this, and we will get into that in just a minute when we talk about the charger and the batteries. Uh, it is water sealed, IPX7 waterproof rated, so that means it can be a meter underwater for 30 minutes. That's a pretty long time, and it is uh, re impact resistant to two meters. Now let's talk about the uh, overall sizes and dimensions of this thing. In total length here, we're gonna be 7.67 inches, or for those of you on centimeters, 19.48. Weighs 12.3 ounces, which is not bad at all. And the width varies because of kind of where it is. You're basically like an inch and three quarter almost, but then it gets more narrow in the middle and kind of widens out a little bit on the sides here. So there's not per se one, uh, one radius uh, measurement here all the way around because it does change depending on where you are holding the light. Let's go ahead and talk about charging this thing real quick. So if you get the dock in charge, you can't you can buy it separate. You see where it interfaces right here with that small triangle. It goes right down in there and it does plug in using a micro USB or the kind of old school US uh, or the old school two port streamlight. So if you have a current streamlight, you can plug it in there as well. Uh, it does come with a cord and a charger. If you buy it in that kit, we'll go ahead and get rid of that stuff for now. And while we're talking about charging, let's talk about the battery. So to get the battery compartment open, you see that little tang of metal right there. You just pull on that, it pops the cap over. So as far as the batteries go on here, let's see, yank one out. These are the Streamlight proprietary batteries, the SLB26, and they do have that micro USB rechargeable port on both of them. And they do work with some of the other uh, Streamlight products. So if you have one that takes these, they are interchangeable, so you can buy that like you know big charging dock for these things, rather than having all those little mini USB plugs on there. Again, that tail cap is in the actual uh, battery housing here, so that is definitely something that you need to take care of. You don't lose this or drop this when you have it out because you can 
uh, break that switch if you do. Put it back in there, you just push it close and make sure that it is on. Talking about the function buttons here, you're gonna have a rear tail cap, which is quite nice. Got nice little depressions right there for your thumb or for your forefinger or however you wanna activate that. And it's kinda of got a plastic cap and a nice rubberized uh, button on the back right there. So you can see it. And then the one up on the front right here, got the nice little Streamlight logo, a little bit of a depression. And actually when you have it on, you can see it's got a little green light, kinda of signifies that it is on. As far as moving forward, You've got your switch right there. You can go from low, medium to high. You can do that while the light is on. So if you're on, you can go from low, medium to high, all the way up, whatever you wanna do. And you'll see it kind of progressively gets there as you flip that switch. Talking about the light and how it feels in the hand. It's got that nice anti-roll design. Okay, we've all been in the shop or somewhere we've laid our flashlight down and it's rolled right off the table. This definitely isn't going to do that. You've got very nice kind of, you know, like lifted serration type marks across the top and the bottom. And then the sides, you have a very aggressive and nice texture and then a good place for your finger to actually get in and hold onto that light while you're activating it here or even from the rear having your pinky in there. It just feels quite nice in the hand as compared to a regular round kind of flashlight. And it's very, like natural, even for the depression of where your thumb goes up here, or if you're operating it like this from the back, those depressions, just an all out solid light. If there's one thing that I did notice about this light, it's going to be this release snap for the battery compartment. So depending on how you're carrying or using this, if you're jamming this in a bag, or if you're putting this in some form of like belt, say your security or law enforcement, if you put that in some kind of a keeper like that, it's likely to hit that tab and open that compartment. And if it's an open bottom, you know, keeper on a belt or something, it's likely to fall out on that switch. So that is definitely one thing to just kind of pay attention to and be aware of when you're out there using this. Well, let's go ahead and take a really good look at low light footage in the house and the garage and a little bit outside, because this is really an all around use light, whether it's for mechanics, you know, security, law enforcement, camping light, you know, commercial building light for backup. So we're gonna go ahead and check that footage out right now. You can see that is just an option filled little light there from the switch to the brightness settings, the recharge capabilities, and the fact that you can use those internal batteries, USB rechargeable each one for the other Streamlight branded products. Now I've carried Streamlight for a very long time, well over a decade, both from the big, huge mag light looking ones uh, to the smaller lights, to the little tiny keychain lights and the little ones that you fit in your pocket. They're like as big around as a pencil. They've been a great brand over the years to me and they have just functioned flawlessly and I've never had serious issues with them. In fact, they only had one that died on me and it was well over eight years old and it had a ton of use and abuse on it. Well, let's go ahead and run into some of that low light footage on this thing. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this out real quick in a house, just in like a hallway. We'll go ahead and roll that in right now. And you can see this is just a basic average hallway in your home, say the power goes out. You can see how bright this is and how the different settings are going to maybe bounce back at you a little bit. Then we'll kind of come around the corner and we'll look at a really long distance here. This is gonna actually be from that hallway into the kitchen area. That's about 47 feet away. So you can see how far this light will project in there. It's really gonna give you, you know, a lot of light out there, a lot of light to not only not trip on something, but if your power goes out, walk around but just in case you hear something go bump in the night. Well, let's go ahead and check out the garage. So this garage is a little bit bigger than the average garage by about four feet each direction, three car uh, style garage here, but extended in all four cardinal directions. So you can see, this just gives you a ton of light. It's gonna fill this entire garage with light, especially since the walls in here are white. You know, say you're out here and you hear something in the garage or an animal gets in your garage if you live on property like I do you're gonna have plenty of light to work with. Well, now that you've seen how this actually is inside a house, let's take this thing out in the yard, nice dark night, and see what this is gonna do for you. Say you live on bigger property, maybe your mailbox is a couple hundred feet away from the house. We're gonna check that out right now and kind of give you a good idea of what this will spill and what this will uh, kind of beam spotlight like, because you need to understand the differences in how all that stuff works. So you can see out here in this yard, that wall is about 330-ish feet away. And it just gives you a ton of light. Now up close, side to side, you're gonna see it's a very flooded pattern, but it still has a pretty good, nice hot spot in it, which is gonna give you kind of the best of both worlds between like a true spotlight and a floodlight. And that has to do with those lumens and candela that we talked about up close. 
Well, those are about the best real life issues that I can give you guys to show you what this light is going to do for you, whether it's in the home, in the office, or out on big land. If you're a farmer or up close, say you're a mechanic, and you just need a smaller light to get up under those weird areas, like underneath a transmission tunnel or something crazy like that. Now, knowing all the options and seeing that thing in that low light footage, this is just absolutely an option packed little light from the way you can grab it, the anti-roll, the batteries in there that are usable with the other Streamlight products, that easy switch up there instead of having to push the button three, four, five times or half hold or whatever the heck it is on some other lights. They make it easy and they make it solid. So right now this thing is coming in right at about 150 on Amazon. Now some people may say that is a lot for a flashlight, but think about it this way. This light is going to last you a very long time. And the fact that it has replaceable rechargeable batteries in there and not batteries that are rechargeable but you can't replace, that's gonna help the light last even longer because the body of the light generally is going to last unless you abuse the heck out of it a lot longer than the batteries will. So it's really up to you and to determine what you're gonna use it for and if 150 bucks is going to be worth it. What I can tell you is this thing is definitely sticking around in my collection because I do trust that Streamlight brand and I've had a great experience with them for the probably 10 or more years that I've carried Streamlight almost solely. Now remember, if you guys are interested in this thing or any of the other stuff on there, you can check out the links down below or check out my homepage, tacticalconsiderations.com and make sure you swing over to Shall Not Comply and check out that sweet, sweet freedom-minded swag. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, turn the bell notification icon on, and if you're into the Streamlight stuff or you thought the video was worth it, give it a like, smash that button if that is your thing. You guys get out there, have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, and I will see you guys on the next one.